After all the twists and turns, the Indian Space Research Organization has accomplished what it had set out to achieve early this morning. The first test vehicle flight, TVD-1, of Gaganyaan took off beautifully from the launch pad at Sri Harikota at 10 a.m. In that nine minutes of journey, we saw how that single-stage test rocket lifted off from Sri Harikota. Uh, the automatic abort sequence got initiated up in the air, and when it reached an altitude of about 17 kilometers, the crew module got separated from the crew escape system and began its free fall into the Bay of Bengal. But during those last few minutes, we saw, we saw how many parachutes got deployed at different stages to ensure the velocity of the crew module is reduced to about 2.8 meters per second to ensure that it splashes into the Bay of Bengal. Now, uh, a team of the Indian Navy was on standby and they're now going to recover the crew module from the sea and bring, them, uh, bring it back to the coast. Now, uh, TVD-1 is just one of the many tests that Indian uh, Space Research Organization is going to conduct over the next two years uh, to get ready for the final manned flight of Gaganyaan in 2025. But we saw how uh, ISRO uh, undertook this journey early this morning. Now the mission was planned to take off at about 8 a.m. However, uh, it did not take place that time due to unfavorable weather conditions and ISRO rescheduled it to about 8.45 a.m. Everything was going as per the plan. The countdown had begun. However, just five seconds into the launch, the countdown stopped uh, when the ground computers detected some anomaly and the engine ignition did not take place as required. ISRO chairman Mr. S. Somnath then announced that they have decided to put the mission on hold. However, over the next one hour, the scientists huddled together, they detected the anomaly, fixed it and uh, then refilled the fuel tanks and uh, brought the mission to uh, finally un uh, you know finally be ready at about 10 a.m. Now uh, after the success of TVD1, ISRO is now going to evaluate all this data and use it to plan its second test vehicle flight which is TVD2 and then TVD3. There are also three uncrewed missions. Now uncrewed missions are where uh, ISRO is going to use robotic payloads to uh, check the safety of the astronauts on board. Now, uh, as many as 20 tests are planned over the next two years before the manned flight. Now, uh, remember, see, uh, Gaganyaan is India's uh, first attempt at a human space flight. Only three countries in the world have achieved this feat the Soviet Union, now Russia, the United States of America and China. Now, if India succeeds, it will only be the fourth country in the world to do so. Our plan is to take three Indian astronauts aboard GSLV Mark III uh, into the low Earth orbit at about 400 kilometers into the space and then keep them there for three days and bring them safely back to Earth. Uh, the safety of the astronauts is of paramount importance and ISRO is making sure that it conducts all the tests to be ready for the final manned flight in 2025. I'm very happy to announce the successful accomplishment of the TVD1 mission. <clears throat> the purpose of this mission was to demonstrate the crew escape system for the Gaganyan program through a test vehicle demonstration in which the vehicle has gone up to a uh, Mach number which is a speed of sound slightly above that and initiated a, an abort condition for the crew escape system to function. Uh, it uh, took the crew escape system, took the crew module away from the vehicle and uh, subsequent operations of the crew module separation from the crew escape system, all the parachutes opening and touched down on in the sea at the required velocity has been very well accomplished and we have got confirmation of the data of all of this.